Okay, I'd like to talk a little bit about cleaning house and then what we refer to as your baseline day and your depletion day and what each of those mean um, as it relates to getting started with, you know, your fat loss program. Now, here's a picture and, uh, you know, in the center, just kind of envision this as your stomach region and let's say that this square region represents all the capacity of our stomach itself now obviously it's not that big it's actually about the size of your fist so you know when you eat a certain amount of food you're gonna feel really really full so we all know about nutrient dense food meaning foods that have lots of nutritional value per you know forkful and we also know about uh, empty calories or foods that have lots of calories uh, but don't necessarily present a lot of nutrient density meaning they don't have really any good nutritional value um, per spoon or forkful so when we eat we want to uh, obviously eat the best foods possible but as it relates to this process here up here at the top i talk about cleaning house and initially when people come to us they're eating in excess of 100 grams of carbohydrates per day now, you know, I can see routinely when I see someone that comes in and their body fat is, you know, above a certain point, they're going to get um, an accumulated level of body fat that they probably don't visually like the way it looks when they look in the mirror or it just doesn't feel good because they're carrying in excess of 50 or 100 pounds. So they really want to get that down. Typically, um, it's going to take about 10 pounds a month. Uh, for a weight loss program. So if you have about 100 pounds, give yourself about a year to lose that. 50 pounds, anywhere from five to six months. Uh, you know, 10 and 20 pounds, anywhere from two to three months. Um, barring that you do everything perfectly. So what we first do is get you from wherever you are, and I call it a seafood diet, what you see you eat. And we wanna get you down initially to the 100 grams per day range. For a lot of people, that's gonna be about as far as they're gonna go. They're gonna to get to this stage and they're gonna achieve a great deal of success because they were eating three, four, 500 grams of carbs, drinking them in the form of sodas and eating fast food. So their carbohydrate intake is probably relatively huge. And so we'll just say anything above this line here as, um, you know, a seafood diet right here at the line. This represents 100 grams here and then in between that range of 100 grams down to this next line we're going to say that's about 50 grams and then from this line down that represents another 50 grams now it's it's supposed to be somewhat in the middle it looks a little bit off but just for the sake of this visual demonstration so if at your seafood level you're up here we get down to the clean house level which is 100 grams and 100 grams on down to zero here at the lowest point. Now, when we start talking about baseline, what we mean for baseline is what amount of carbs you need to recover from your workout that you just did and to help you operate somewhat normally throughout the day but still be in a fat loss zone. So it's still gonna be within this 100 gram range. It's not necessarily gonna be at zero, but it's going to be probably for most of you above 50 grams. And it could be at 50, it could be 55, 60, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, all the way back to 100. But let's say you're that person that at 100, you're not losing fat. But when we drop it down to 90 or 80, you start losing fat, you still feel good, you're functioning properly, that becomes your baseline your baseline intake so what we do with you is this represents your baseline day that baseline day would be the day that you work out you're eating you know a regular fat loss menu plan but post-workout you may have on that baseline day a protein shake that has some fruit in it and a low low to no carb protein shake and the only carbs in that shake will be that fruit that you have unless it's a plant protein base then it's gonna have a little bit more carbs, but much more friendly carbs than the types that you might find in some of the other drinks out there that are loaded in sugar. All right, so this represents your baseline or your basic day-to-day -day operation on a training day. 
So that's that post-workout shake, maybe your baseline. And then after that, all meals are more like what I'm gonna to refer to now as depletion meals. Now let's say you wanna go into full-on depletion. You've been and have established, you've gone from the seafood diet into the clean house diet. And now we've learned about our baseline, what we have um, on a training day, a workout day. And let's say you train Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you would have that post-workout shake. And depending upon your frame type, if you were a ectomorph, mesomorph, or endomorph, that would determine if you get any additional carbs that day. For most, it's gonna be the protein shake post-workout and that's it. And then it's back to this depletion day. Now, the depletion day is any level beneath 50 grams that allows you to still stay awake, function normally, um, and I use that term normally, I'm sitting here, you know, making quotation marks around normally, meaning you can still function. Now, this is where it starts to get tricky for some people because you have to learn how to interpret what it is you're feeling. When we start going from our baseline day down into a depletion day, a lot of people start to get kind of uh, emotional. Women are very familiar with it. Um, you know, when they go into their monthly menstrual cycles, they have, you know, a certain time period before and after where, you know, there's water storage and release and emotions get a little bit uh, different. Uh, men, because we don't have that menstrual cycle, we also have a certain time during the month where we might get emotionally a little different. But when you start doing depletion, and baseline and you know even for the clean house if you've eaten a lot of carbs it really sets you up for a lot of emotional turbulence so there takes a period of time for you to adapt um, and this is why I suggest to people if you're not familiar with the cleaning house process and you haven't established what your baseline is uh, you can, I wouldn't suggest trying depletion until you've got the other things mastered and what I mean by mastered is you know regularly listing your foods in my fitness pal understanding your carbs your fats your proteins and then associating how you feel on a given day with what you've eaten whether that day was a high carb day whether it was a baseline day or whether it was depletion day so now the depletion day is definitely underneath your baseline towards zero i don't see too many people going to zero carbs because you can get you know down to about 25 grams and around there 20 grams and it gets pretty difficult because even if you're having vegetables even though you might have some fats some of the fats like avocado have a little uh, carb in them some of the nut butters have a little bit of carb in them and if you are really tricky I can teach you how to do that um, as far as using instead of the nuts using actually almond oil or coconut oil uh, to get some of those essential fats without the carbs in them so that's when you're really competitive and you want to get seriously seriously peeled but for most people just learning how to clean house here at 100 grams of carbs then establishing what your baseline is, your baseline carb intake in between 50 and 100, and then understand what your, your depletion day is between, usually for most people, could be up as high as 75, but most people at about 50, all the way down to 25 grams is your depletion zone. And this is where major fat loss starts to occur. Now, when we drop these carbs like this, our fat intake should climb. We should also be using some extra B complex. There are some other supplements, but we'll talk about that in another video so that you can get a handle on understanding that process. But, um, and your water intake has to be Jayamungus, you know, a gallon plus per day. And I also encourage the use of sodium unless you have high blood pressure. Sodium um, on, you know, a lot of your foods, salting them helps retain a lot more water in the muscle. For all my endurance athletes, I recommend creatine. And for all of my people in this process, I also recommend super greens added to your post-workout shake, which I'll also talk about in other supplements. So this is going from seafood into cleaning house. And clean house is at 100 grams is our top level of carbs for the day. Then we learned and talked about the baseline day, which is your normal operating level without, without you know, causing fat gain. And then from baseline, we talked about what your depletion is, and that's anything between 50 and 25 grams. And it could be as high as 75 grams of carbs if you happen to be an ectomorph. Remember, somatypes, ectomorph, 
mesomorph and endomorph so all have different metabolisms so they all are going to have a different level here. I'll talk about that in another video and uh, we'll move on to that now.